low. So this is December 30th, yes, and I thought I'd do a little video with um, all, the, all the clothing that I made in 2023. We're starting off in this um, lingerie set in thrifted white linen some cute little delays uh obviously they're made from the same piece of fabric and the same lace around the uh, leg um it's underwear obviously so so <laughs> i mean the pile is huge um let's start off with a dress that I actually made from not thrifted linen um, I ordered the linen online it was expensive I made a poofy sleeve, poofy collar. I can do that with <laughs> if I should like. Um, um, well, there's not much more to say. It's a red dress. Actually, I'm going to try on this coat I made so the orange fabric is linen it used to be curtains uh, the red lining is what I don't know acetate or something I don't know uh, I bought these closure things <laughs> for a different coat I made a couple of years ago. There were some left. It's a full circle skirt. And, oh, I thought I just got fat. Well, I did get fat, but I snapped it on the monkey. Anyway. Tied shorter sleeve, I like, so that's what I make. And I also made a little red jacket. Uh, this linen is thrifted I think it was a tablecloth it has a white lining also thrifted the thread is thrifted hmm. I had to piece together the sleeve also a little shorter mm. And apparently I like little jackets, right? So I also made an orange one. With a red lining. Uh, this orange fabric used to be curtains. It's kind of coarse. It's got great texture. The red lining is actually uh, rayon. It says so somewhere. I don't know. It was a piece I got at the thrift store, just as I did with these curtains. There was a lot of fabric, so you'll be seeing it in some of the garments.
So I also made my first ever pair of trousers. Uh, these are the third pair, I think. This is, oh, and I made the top off, obviously. It's, uh, again, thrifted linen. I made this off-white uh, not long ago. It was uh, a tablecloth uh, from a rental, one of those places that rents linen to restaurants. Great quality, very nice. And the lace, thrifted. So this fabric was just a remnant piece. I love it. I love it. The blouse itself is just a wee bit short, really, because I can't do that. My whole tummy <laughs> will be exposed, but I love it. Honestly, it's fantastic. This blouse was also a tablecloth from the rental company. It's shorter in back, it's longer in front. I mean, there isn't much left. It's practically zero waste. The color is fantabulous. So, a red blouse. Used to be a tablecloth. Uh, it's 50 50 linen cotton. I had to piece the sleeve, so I did it fancy. So, another blouse and pants. I think these were the third pair. Uh, this material feels like linen, but it has some stretch. I don't know what it is. It was gifted to me, so uh, I don't know, but love it. Another top, and these are... This is the first pair of pants I ever made. The fabric is the same as that aubergine that I was uh, gifted, so I don't know what it is. Uh, like I said, feels like linen, uh, but has a little stretch to it. I love it. So this is what is known as secret pants. Uh, thrifted fabric. It's uh, stretchy. Don't know. Very nice and cool. Pants again. Hot pink. Fuchsia. Drifted linen, so comfortable, so comfortable. And I think one more pair of pants. One more pair of pants and a little jacket. This fabric is jeans adjacent. It's a uh, Stiffer, I think it's cotton, not sure, thrifted, but it was just pieces of fabric. Uh, the buttons are recycled from uh, my husband's old chinos. This is the first time I ever made this kind of color. I think it came out nice. 
onto dresses again. This super comfortable, all used to be tablecloths that are 50-50 linen and cotton. It's so comfortable. And we had a thing with my choir where we were going to perform in church and she said, our choir uh, mistress said to wear purple. And then she said, don't wear light purple, go all in and go for a dark purple. And I just finished this dress when she said, no light purple. So then I found this um, velvet, uh, it's uh, cotton and um, what's it called? Oh, never mind. Uh, it's made from trees. Just be curtains. I mean, it's smooth this way, which probably they say that allows for the most light to be reflected. And I made a little jacket. It was sincerely too warm in the church for me to wear this whole ensemble, but oh my God, it's so gorgeous. So gorgeous. I also made matching jewelry. Do you want to call it that when it's plastic? But you know, matching. Anyway, so let's get out of that. And I made a quilted petticoat. I didn't put the elastic in yet because it's not been that cold. Uh, this used to be a bedspread. It's microfiber. Don't know what that is. Plastic probably is super warm. So it's supposed to go underneath, obviously, to keep legs warm. And it was a bedspread for a double bed. So there was enough for a little jacket. I'm obsessed, obviously, with little jackets. And the puff sleeve from the dress fits perfectly inside the puff sleeve of the little jacket. So warm, so warm. Ah. Um, what else can I put up on the top of this? No, I think I'll have to pause there. This is that same linen uh, that I made the, um, the coat of uh, and the tablecloth that I made the little red jacket from. So both the red jacket and the orange jacket goes perfectly with this. And I have this. Thing that I recently made not sure what this fabric is it's sort of weird <sighs> I 
I made this in the week before my period. So my boobs didn't fit. <laughs> I had to cut a hole. Now they fit. The um, vice tape be from that same piece of fabric. Oh, there's a uh, blouse somewhere there. See? Super cute. Super cute. Mm -hmm. Pink thrifted linen. Not much to say. The piece was, it was just fabric, it wasn't something else. But someone had folded it in half and then cut a hole on the fold uh, this big. Super weird. Anyway, I made it work. I honestly don't know what this fabric is except gorgeous. It's a uh, heavy, drapey, shimmering. Warm. Tablecloth. So comfortable. Elbow length sleeve. I love it. I have a, uh, I made myself a puffy petticoat. that I can wear underneath very so many of my dresses to make them just a little fuller on the bottom ah, that same petticoat a tablecloth and a full circle skirt Some thrifted lace. So cute. So this one is uh, one of the few that I'm not really happy with. I love the fabric, but something's off with the fit in the upper boob area. And also there's too much skirt so uh, I'm gonna put this in the redo pile so it's that same petticoat one million pleats and right here I have a piece of that orange curtain because obviously I pieced it together uh, I love this one it's so fun so fun summery white used to be a curtain now it's a super gorgeous dress that I can wear with a bra or completely without a bra if I want to because who's gonna know? Plain orange, red, that same curtain. There were six humongous pieces and obviously goes exquisitely well with both the orange and the red little jacket somewhere in the pile <laughs> so a super sheer cotton dress with 
big, long, puffy sleeves. A little tie and a ribbon on the hem and on the sleeve there. I mean, you do need something underneath and I have made no, I can't show you <laughs> the dress underneath, but it was a few years ago. It's like linen gauze, super sheer to paint us on. So while I have this gauze dress on, I want to show you this Swiss dot cotton. It's a tad too long, but you know. Some cute lace and some there. Should add a tie there for really warm summery days. So this was the tablecloth. It's damask. Um, well, I had to put in some pen tacks or tacks. Uh, because it drooped on the side, so a couple of tacks and no more droopiness. I love that golden yellow and the check weave, super cute. So I put on this top again, top is, uh, don't mind it, it's um, the petticoat. Uh, I had this, the bottom part is from a petticoat I bought in the 1990s. That's a uh, Pentax and lace. Um, uh, it's called Broderie Anglaise. Um, Pentax. I wore, I, wore, I wore it so much. I mean, the upper part just died so I mean I just took a piece of sheet and made a tube sewed the frill on and that's it so <clears throat> I can show you this one I mean this was a tablecloth so gorgeous now it's a gorgeous dress And you'd think I spent hours and hours uh, pattern matching this one, <laughs> but I didn't. It sort of just turned up like this. Perfect. And chevrons on the side. And I obviously wore a different bra when I made this. Oh, it's so cute. It's warm, thick and warm and well there's not much left ah. so that oh, stripy thing is basically the same pattern as the purple dress from before and this one this was the first one I made I don't use patterns, but you know, once I have a good idea, I use it again and again and again. So this is a tablecloth. It's also damask, but I think it's cotton. Uh, I have a red tablecloth in this exact pattern. I haven't used it yet. Uh, I really, really, really wanted a a long dress, ankle length dress made from this, but it shrunk when I washed it. Always wash your fabrics first. So I had to improvise. And I mean, it turned out great. Super comfortable, super cute. Um pleats all the way around so much fabric uh, it was curtains Christmas curtains and 
this I did spend <laughs> some time trying to line up stripes and squares and whatever. Uh, uh, it's a little long, so I'm debating with myself if I should alter the hem or just make a really poofy petticoat but I'm not sure I'm not sure I did wear it out and I ended up stepping on the hem a couple of times so it's a little long it's a little long just one more thing and that is this white I mean skirt or petticoat whatever you want it was a tablecloth some of that brother young les and cute embroidery it's quite sheer so underneath or something underneath Obviously, it was a round tablecloth that I cut a hole in, and just like that. Well, what can I say? The pile on the bed is huge. This pile over here, uh, over there, <laughs> that's the pile that I'm going to redo. The only thing I made this year that I'm going to redo is that orange and green check one, this one. The other ones are from other years. <laughs> so obviously I made quite a lot. I'm surprised, but oh, my closet is so so full but now I have all these feelings for the, these garments that I made and uh, so I'm I mean I'm, I can't get rid of them right no no I cannot uh, <laughs> I'll have to make more closet space by Throwing out store bought dresses. Anyway, uh, so 2023 in sewing review. Uh, almost everything is thrifted. There is there are two dresses that I bought fabric for. This was that sheer. Swiss dot although I did get that fabric four or five years ago it's been sitting in my stash uh, and the red linen dress from from the very beginning um, I did um, buy some bits and bobs I for this white dress I had to buy some uh, white bias tape um, for the um, neckline and the arm side but I mean I think I got three meters or something uh, I don't like buttons I don't like zippers so none of that didn't get any lace I hardly even got thread I bought white and off-white thread in the actual store um, because they have thread in the thrift store too <laughs> uh, not much white though but anyway so it's been a productive year happy new year